What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, JB, and we are here today with a review for The Real Housewives of New York City. This is season 13, episode number, is it five, I believe? I believe we're at number five. And this episode was titled, How Nude? Um, nope, episode was titled, A Game of Chess. No, the episode was titled, How Nude? Yeah, it's titled, How Nude. How Nude. How Nude. How Nude. How nude, how nude. All right, you guys, now, before we actually get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you are not subscribed to the channel, then hit that notification bell, nope, hit that subscribe button, and stop taking me out on dates and not paying for my meal. Hit that like button, hit that notification bell button so you guys are notified of every video that I drop, and let's go ahead and talk about The Real Housewives of New York City, shall we? Let's get into All it. right, you guys, New York City. So we start up with where we left off last week. Now you guys remember in the last episode, the ladies were having the brunch at Tiffany's and they were discussing penises. They were talking about dicks because they're having a male, they're gonna be painting a nude model. And you guys remember, Ramona got so offended by that and got up from the table. And so that just left the other girls at the table. So, Ramona is still doing the same thing this episode. And like I said in last week's episode, I don't get how Ramona is such a prude when it comes to talking about penises, vaginas, dicks, pussies. Now, is it something that I would want to hear about at the dinner table? Not necessarily. But it's not gonna make me it's not gonna be something that I clam up at like shit. It's a part of a, it's a part of our bodies. Like I'm a man. I have a penis. I see it every day. That's like a woman. You have a vagina. You have breasts. You see them every fucking day. So I don't get what the issue is and I don't get why Ramona's such a prude. And then on top of that, the thing with Ramona, for me, it boils down to, we'll talk about that. Because when Ramona came back out there where the ladies were, she tried to change the subject and then she told Leah, she's telling Leah to edit herself around her. And I'm just thinking to myself, do you tell other people to edit themselves around you? And while they were talking, um, Ebony, she thought that Ramona said she could take a big dick. <laughs> she thought Ramona said she could take a big dick. And Ramona was like, oh my God. I really don't get it. I'm thoroughly confused why Ramona's so shocked and appalled by the word dick, penis, vagina, and pussy. I don't get it. So then the next morning, Ebony and Leah are talking about this and she says that she owes Ramona an apology, you know, just because Ramona was uncomfortable, she owes her that apology. But she thinks that it's a bit hypocritical. It 1000% is hypocritical. And we're gonna definitely talk about why I think it's hypocritical. So give me just a minute there and we'll get there. Now on the other side, we see Ramona and Sonya talking to each other and they're talking about Heather. And you know, um, it's still dealing with the podcast. So Ramona says that she'll talk to Heather and tell Heather that, you know, just don't mention them on the podcast. And she does have that conversation. And she tells Heather, good, bad, or indifferent, don't mention her on the podcast. I guess Heather agrees. I don't know. Don't really care. Ooh, my bad, y'all. Didn't mean to burp in y'all face like that. So rude. So rude and so nasty. Shout out to Nene for that one. Actually, shout out to Claudia for that one. Or was it Kenya? It was Kenya. But let's move on. All right, you guys. So now we are going to Ramona, not Ramona, but um, Luann's house so that they can, you know, do the nude paint. They can paint the nude model. And they're going to have, you know, the, um, the, lob, the lamb curry that Garth is making. Now, please let me know if it's just me that sees this or am I just, you know, no, just let me know if it's just me. So when it comes to Luann and Garth, is it just me, but does it seem that Luann is more into Garth than Garth is into Luann? Like, I'm just getting that vibe that Garth is not into Luann as much as she thinks he is, or as much as she protests. I think that's what it is, because I just don't get any kind of connection. I know with her it's sexual, but I don't even get a sexual vibe from him with her, but whatever. So then, you know, we see all the girls getting ready. Um, Ebony was getting her hair done and Ramona was like, well, why did you wait so late? 
girl minds business. So then they all finally do make it over to um, Luann's house and Luann has invited this weird artist over to her crib. And I'm guessing he's someone that she's trying to introduce to Sonia. I'm like, girl, that man is not even on any radar of Sonia's. I was surprised to find out he might be on Ramona's radar. So then, you know, we get to them with the nude model. So, you know, they unveil him in all his glory. And all the women like what they saw. Now, here's my thing with Ramona. Here is the hypocrisy. I get it at the dinner table. I got that. I do get that. She says it. She doesn't want to hear it at the dinner table. I get that. But technically, if we're being honest, Leah didn't mention anything about the mo Leah was not the one who initiated that conversation at the dinner table. It was actually your girl, Heather. When Heather was talking about what they were doing the next day, Heather started the conversation. Ebony piggybacked off of it. And then Leah chimed in. That's how it went. Because Ebony's actually the first one who mentioned something about dicks. Then it was, um, then it was Leah. But here's my thing when it comes to Ramona. Like Ramona, she was talking about how nice the man's penis was. I'm like, oh, so you can't talk about penis, huh? And then, you know, it just, it, like when I think about Ramona, I'm like, so the way Ramona acts like a prude when it comes to sex, like, how did you and Mario have Avery? Literally, how did you guys have Avery? Did you know, did you guys go to Avery is 25? So I don't think IVF was around when Avery was born. I don't believe so. So I know y'all didn't do IVF. So y'all had to boing, boing, boing to have Avery. How did y'all initiate? How did, how did sex get initiated with Ramona? We gonna, again, we're going to talk about Ramona a little bit deeper. Um, so eventually Ramona, she sat to the side, then Leah came and joined her again. I don't know who this artist was there for. I mean, I know that Lou wanted him for Sonya, but Ramona, she was over there just vibing to the music that the man was, she's just vibing out. Oh my God. Like she's at Woodstock. You know, the way she was acting, she, you would think she was at Woodstock. Because that's the way Ramona was just, oh, his music is just so sin. It's just doing something to my body. Ramona, we're going to talk about you in just a minute. We're going to definitely talk about you. Definitely, definitely going to talk about you. Um, Leah had a bit of a moment talking about her grandmother. I don't know if Ramona called herself helping in that situation, but Ramona, you definitely didn't help the situation. You kind of made the situation worse. Just going to be honest with you. But um, yeah, I'm going to move on and we're going to wrap this episode up, you guys. All right, you guys. So to wrap the episode up, ladies sit down to enjoy Garth's curry, lamb curry. And they all said it was good. It looked interesting to me. I will just say that it looked interesting. I probably wouldn't have ate it. No, but I ate it. Because I've always wanted to try lamb. So Luann mentions the fact that last night that Ebony was, you know, chasing behind Ramona. And she asked what happened. So Ebony says, you know, I'm, I, I, I thought I heard Ramona say she like she can take big dicks, but she didn't. And I apologize to her for that, for making her uncomfortable. Luann, I don't know what the hell you called yourself explaining, but it made absolutely no sense to anyone with a brain. Because she was talking about how Ramona, you know, there, she mentioned Catholic and being church going. I'm like, what does that have to do with the price of tea in China? Okay, yeah, you might be, okay, yeah, you're Catholic. Okay, your church is going. So that means the people who go to church and are Catholic or any kind of denomination don't have sex. Like, what, I mean, y'all don't talk about, like, I find that some of the church going people are the biggest freaks. Let's keep it real. Like y'all watch porn, y'all do all that shit. Like don't like don't sit here and kid a kidder. Um. So here's the thing for me with Ramona: How does Ramona get so offended by what Leah says, but Sonia ain't no goddamn gone better? 
wasn't it last? What were they at? Were they at a party or they were at somewhere last season when Sonya blurt, blurted out drunkly that she doesn't shave her? I don't shave my pussy. She said that in front of you guys. She said she doesn't shave her pussy. She's talked even in the last episode when y'all were at the bar. She was talking about how big dicks are a nuisance. The fuck? Like, I'm so confused. And then she's talking about how Avery is. Well, the difference between Leah and Avery is Avery is your child. I would expect for Avery not to have a conversation in front of her mother about sucking dick, licking dick, taking dick, eating a vagina if she if she chose to do that. I would imagine I would hope she I would imagine she wouldn't do it. That is uncomfortable. Like I would never have had a sex conversation in front of my mother. Even though one time she tried to have a conversation with me about sex and I was like, uh-uh. We are not having that conversation. No, thank you. We're not having a conversation. Cause she found some condoms in my car. And she's like, You're having sex? I'm like, what do you think? I'm like, you found a condom, so yes, I'm having sex. And I'm like, that's the end of the conversation. I told her that is the end of that conversation. Let's that's that's dead it. Like, don't she's like, well, I'm like, it's not. And she was like, well, I want to meet the person. I'm like, it's not a relationship. It is not a relationship. It's just casual. It's just a friend that I have sex with. No, we're not doing that. I'm like, let's 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 close that conversation, sis. Let's close it. Like, let's not have that conversation. Because I was uncomfortable. I was like, oh, my God, please do not have a conversation with me. Now, um, Leah, I'm going to have to call you out. Leah, I love Leah, but I can call Leah out when she's wrong. Leah, when you came back to that table and mentioned Avery, you know, sucking dick since she was 14, I'm like, ugh, that wasn't the right thing to do. That was not the right thing thing to do. Because you would be mad if someone said something about Kira. Like, let's be real, you would be ready to kill. So I love the fact that Ebony checked the fuck out of Luann because she was like, you know, because they were talking and she mentioned she th- she mentioned what Luann said because and um, Ramona said I never said anything like that. She says I could have swore Luann said something about conservative and church going, and you know because she said because she says you know it's not unclassy or unladylike to mention say anything about a dick or a pussy or a vagina or a penis. It's not unclassy. And Ramona was like I never said that. She said but Lou was the one who said something about church going and conservative and Lou said well it's not about church it's about education and everybody was like you know I'm the most educated person at this table and you know I know how to use I know how to use my vernacular but I also use curse words and I also use slang words like dick and all that stuff so then Luann got in her feelings about that because Lou, um, Ebony said she's the most educated at the table she says she is the most educated Luann. She didn't say she was the smartest. She didn't say she was the prettiest. She didn't say she was anything. She just said the most educated, which is a well-known fact that she is the most educated. Now, yes, Luann, I know you have, uh, she said you, you, know, you have an LPN. She's not, taking away your, she's not taking away from your education. She's just saying she is the most educated. Now, if you are a doctor or anything like that, then yes, you guys would be equally yoked, which I'm not diminishing Luann L- as an LPM. Not diminishing that, but this girl has went to law school. She's she's passed the board. So yes, she is in fact the most educated. Now the one thing that Luann said that really upset me was when she kept calling Lee. I'm not Leah, but Ebony angry. I'm like, Luann, you gonna get dragged for that one? Calling a, a black woman angry. That is a stere- that is the one thing that we as black people don't like when you do it to us. Call us angry. Because we're not all angry. We're not angry. Like that really pissed me off with Luann. But that's the episode, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Um, leave your comments in the comment section below. And subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else. And share this video. And into the next one, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Remember, wash your hands. Wear your mask or not. Stay safe. Be safe in whatever you do. Be blessed. And I'll catch you guys later. I'll see you guys tomorrow for The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And that'll be it. All right, you guys. I'm off. Bye.